Saved by the Bell, a classic 1989 TV series, took us on a roller coaster ride through the halls of Bayside High School. Packed with humor, shockers, and poignant moments, this show has left an indelible mark on pop culture. Whether you rooted for Zack, empathized with Jesse, or laughed at Screech's antics, the characters became a part of our lives. As you reminisce, think about your favorite character. Out of the many roles, who stood out to you the most? Maybe it's the charming Zack Morris or the spirited Kelly Kapowski. We all have that one character who made us laugh, think, or even shed a tear. The show is a mosaic of funny, shocking, and sometimes sad scenes. Is there a particular moment that lingers in your memory? Perhaps it's a Zack Morris timeout or a heartfelt conversation in the max. Share your lasting impressions and join the conversation. Now it's your turn. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic series? Drop your stories and memories in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. So, who was your favorite character and what scene left an impact on you? Share your stories. Saved by the Bell, a sitcom that aired from 1989 to 1993, holds a special place in the hearts of many viewers who enjoyed it during its four-year run. The show revolves around a group of high school friends, featuring characters like Zach Morris, Lisa Turtle, Jesse, and Screech, among others. Despite its predictable plot lines, the series managed to captivate audiences and became a staple in the Saturday morning lineup. Some viewers remember the characters fondly, with Zach Morris often being a favorite for his charming persona. Others found entertainment in the quirky and lovable Screech. The show also introduced new characters like Tori, adding an element of unpredictability for some viewers. However, this led to questions about the continuity of the storyline and the disappearance of certain characters, raising concerns for some critics. Criticism of the show typically falls into two categories, those who find fault in the stereotypical portrayals of characters and those who nitpick continuity issues. The former, labeled as the easily offended, failed to grasp the show's primary goal to entertain and have fun without delving into complex characterizations or exceptional acting. The latter, or the nitpickers, scrutinize details that, in the alternate reality of Saved by the Bell, are inconsequential. The series maintained its focus on delivering light-hearted and enjoyable adventures week after week. In response to the critics, the message is clear Saved by the Bell is a classic show that achieved its purpose of providing entertainment. Regardless of perceived flaws, the fun and wacky adventures of Zack and his friends left a lasting impact on those who tuned in faithfully every Saturday during their formative years. The show's enduring appeal lies in its ability to transport viewers to a carefree world filled with laughter and camaraderie. Elizabeth Berkeley auditioned for Kelly Kapowski, but ended up portraying Jesse Spano, a role created specifically for her due to the producer's admiration. Meanwhile, A.C. Slater, originally conceptualized as a John Travolta-like character, took a different direction with the casting of Mario Lopez as casting directors struggled to find a fitting white actor. Executive producer Peter Angel suggested exploring Latino, Asian, and Black actors, leading to Lopez's selection. Dustin Diamond and Tori Spelling shared their first on-screen kiss during their time on the show. These behind-the-scenes details offer a glimpse into the casting choices and unique experiences of the actors during the production of the series. These insights into the casting decisions and on-set interactions provide a deeper understanding of the dynamics within the Saved by the Bell ensemble, enriching the viewer's appreciation for the series. Albert Clifford Slater, known as AC, is a character in the TV series who stands out for more than just his personality. Mark Paul Gosselar, who portrayed Zach Morris, had a unique off-screen connection with his female co-stars. His dating history with Elizabeth Berkley, Lark Voorhees, and Tiffany Thiessen created tension among them, prompting intervention from the executive producer to address the issues. Interestingly, Slater's first name, Albert Clifford, adds depth to his character. This tidbit provides fans with a behind-the-scenes insight into the thoughtful choices made by the show's creators. It's these subtle details that contribute to the complexity of the characters, making the series more than just a high school drama. Additionally, after the show entered syndication, viewers were treated to a blend of nostalgia and new content. Several episodes cleverly incorporated re-edited footage from Good Morning, Miss Bliss as flashbacks. These segments, where Zack reminisces about his junior high school years, were seamlessly integrated into the series, offering fans a glimpse into the character's past. 
In exploring these aspects, it's evident that the production team went beyond the surface to craft a layered narrative. The interplay between on-screen relationships and behind-the-scenes dynamics enriches the overall experience for fans. These insights provide a deeper understanding of the series, making it more than just a typical teen show. In conclusion, the nuanced details of character names, off-screen relationships, and creative editing techniques contribute to the unique appeal of the show. These factors, combined with the character's development, showcase the deliberate choices made by the creators, shaping Saved by the Bell into the beloved series it is today. On February 4, 2015, several key cast members, including Elizabeth Berkley, Mark Paul Gosselar, Dennis Haskins, Mario Lopez, and Tiffany Thiessen, participated in a reunion sketch on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. The sketch, featuring Fallon as a student at Bayside High, humorously recreated iconic moments from the show. Notably absent were Dustin Diamond and Lark Voorhees, with Diamond's non-participation attributed to various reasons, including a prior engagement and a strained relationship with the cast, while Voorhees was reportedly occupied with work. Originally, the characters Zack and Slater were scripted as rivals for Kelly's romantic affections. However, off-screen, Mario Lopez and Mark Paul Gosselard developed a close friendship, leading writers to rewrite the characters as best friends. This dynamic continued throughout the series, showcasing the impact of real-life relationships on on-screen narratives. And around four weeks into its run, NBC's research revealed that 50% of teenage girls in the United States were tuning in to the show. This statistic underscores the significant and immediate impact Saved by the Bell had on its target audience, solidifying its popularity among teenage viewers. These behind-the-scenes insights, including the reunion sketch and the off-screen camaraderie between Lopez and Gosselar, shed light on the show's cultural influence and the unique dynamics that contributed to its success. The convergence of real-life friendships and on-screen storytelling played a crucial role in shaping the enduring appeal of the series. In Principal Belding's office, real photos of Dennis Haskins' father and his brother Tim are displayed, adding a personal touch to the set. During the show's creation, NBC President Brandon Tartikoff suggested incorporating the word bell into the title. The final choice, Saved by the Bell, emerged from a colleague's suggestion, eventually endorsed by Tartikoff. Despite producer Peter Engel's initial dislike for the name, it stuck after NBC's legal department confirmed no existing rights to the phrase. The next day, Engel's office was adorned with banners proclaiming Saved by the Bell. Dustin Diamond, cast as Screech at the age of 12, sparked controversy as executive producer Peter Engel admitted he wouldn't have cast Diamond if aware of his age. This age gap led to tensions, with Engel openly highlighting Diamond's immaturity compared to the older cast members. These behind-the-scenes details, from family photos in Principal Belding's office to the show's title origin and Dustin Diamond's age-related challenges, contribute to the series' unique narrative. The production's careful choices and unexpected turns provide an insightful backdrop to the on-screen dynamics, showcasing the intriguing layers of Saved by the Bell. Saved by the Bell graduation had its own set of challenges. The network ordered more episodes after its completion, requiring additional content. Tiffany Thiessen and Elizabeth Berkeley were unavailable due to other commitments. In response, Lena Creel was brought in as Tori, introduced in the final season without disrupting the established narrative. The Tori episode strategically navigated around continuity issues, depicting a shared but distinct Bayside experience for Kelly, Jesse, and Tori alongside the familiar faces of Zack, Slater, Screech, and Lisa. Casper Van Dien quietly made appearances in the show's last season, remaining uncredited. With a single line in Saved by the Bell Pipe Dreams, he primarily functioned as a background extra in hallway scenes. His presence added subtle nuances to the series' final stretch. Before the final selection for Kelly Kapowski, Jenny Garth was among the top candidates. Although not chosen for the role, Garth later found fame in Beverly Hills 9210 alongside Tiffany Thiessen and Tori Spelling, who had a guest appearance in Saved by the Bell. These production insights, gleaned from a reputable source, shed light on the pragmatic decisions made behind the scenes, contributing to the show's unique narrative. The introduction of Tori, Van Dien's understated role, and the casting considerations involving Jenny Garth provide a glimpse into the practical intricacies that shaped the series.